Okay guys, another technique video. I don't know if any of you have seen uh, resonated paper, but um, if you do a quick search for ice resin paper, it's really cool. It's, it makes it stiffer because it's resin and it, um, it also makes it kind of see-through so you can see both sides of the paper and it works best on like thin paper. Well, I don't have any ice resin and I personally don't feel like wearing gloves to have to, to do my crafting and I don't want to wait 24 hours for it to dry and set. So. We're gonna do a faux resin, so stick with me. Let's see. Okay, so done. what you're gonna need is some dictionary paper. The really thin stuff is best, um, as opposed to regular book text. Uh, some beeswax. I get these bars of beeswax. Um, well, I got them from a friend, but um, you can buy them. I've seen them at Dick Blick, and I think they're like four or five bucks. So it's cheaper than ice resin because it's like ten bucks for ice resin. Uh, and these have lasted me a long time. So um, so essentially you want to put something down because I've done this, the beeswax before, and it kind of messes with your craft sheet. I mean, it's still non-stick, but that's from beeswax. So yeah, anyway. So put down a piece of scrap paper underneath it. And all we're going to do, this is just my craft iron. And um, I know it's got holes in it. And oh, apparently paint. So that could be fun. All right, so here's what we've got. So as you can see that the paper is uh, more translucent now. You can see the text on the other side. Let me zoom in, because it'll probably be easier for you to see. Come on, there we go. You can see the text on the other side. The paper has a cool feel now. See that, that's really awesome. So, um, yeah, this side is the one that had the color on it. I forget what I was doing. So, uh, and yeah, it's already dry. You saw how long that took to do, and it's not long at all. So I'm gonna try one thing, because I think something might make it work a little bit better. So I'm gonna try something. Let's try wetting the paper first. Really wet, good and wet. Okay, so here's our finished result. Here's the difference between the two. You can see my hand through that. You cannot see my hand through that. So this is really cool if you wanna add some uh, different layers on top of something else in your art journal or, you know, on an index card, this would be really cool on an iCAD. I have a faux leather one here that would be really cool accent so and the nice thing is uh, because it uh shows through the text from the other side it really just blurs out all of the words so it almost becomes like a foreign uh book text because you can't read it so there's words there which is good for uh style but you're not reading what it's about. So yeah, really cool. So I hope you guys like this technique. Go get yourself some beeswax and a really cheap iron from the thrift store or Walmart and uh, have at it. Look at the difference. So cool. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.